Okay, dare I go in one more time? I do have a question. Hi, Dr. Romano. I do Hi, have another here. question. Is there anything about complex ions on the DAT exam? There indeed is things on complex ions, so come around. I'm going to do a really great theory question for you. Okay, great. Now, in this example that I prepared, you have cobalt 2 sulfide, and I gave you the KSP is 4 to the minus 21 in water. Whenever they give you the KSP of something, always assume it's in water. Now, I want to know, how would the solubility change if you put the solvent in ammonia? And I also gave you what we call the formation constant of a complex ion, and it's 5 to the 31. Now, the first way you're going to approach this is to draw the reaction out. We take the cobalt 2 sulfide and we dissociate it into cobalt ions and sulfide ions. But as you can see from the KSP, that's a very small number. So therefore, you do not get very much of this reaction. You get a very tiny, minuscule amount of ions. But how about if we put it into ammonia? I want you to look at this number. You get 5 times 10 to the 31. How big is this number? Well, let's put it this way. The net worth of Bill Gates is on the magnitude of 1 times 10 to the 10th. So 1 times 10 to the 10th is an enormous amount of money, or, and it's an enormous number. Look at the size of this number. It's to the 10th to the 31st power. It is enormous. Now, I want you to look at what's going to happen. If you put it in ammonia, you would have the reaction, again, dissociating. But as you can see, cobalt is going to combine with ammonia, and we give you the KF. So that means that this reaction is going to be extremely favorable. So what's happening here is that the ammonia is going to be removing the cobalt ion. And when it removes the cobalt ion, it's going to combine with it to form the complex ion. So if you're constantly removing this, more of this is going to dissolve. So the answer to the problem is in ammonia, what would happen? The answer is that the solubility will what? Increase. You would increase the solubility in ammonia. As I tell all my students, always be on the lookout for a complex ion in ammonia. Ammonia loves to form complex ions. And as you can see, these formation constants are enormous. There's another question for you to practice in the destroyer that I have on this. But never forget, complex ion formation, especially with the transition elements. Sometimes these numbers are absolutely enormous. I hope that gives you a good idea on how to do a good theory question involving KSP and solubility of complex ions. It does, Dr. Romano. Thank you so much. Or will you be here later? I must be studying until I will be here. Night. I will see you later on. Good day to you. Good day to you, sir.